I see a yeah. lot of people being like, they're New York State rappers, not NYC rappers. It's like, first of all, like, let's just go ahead and get it straight. Y'all don't have an NYC rapper fucking with Conway, so y'all need to stop talking that way. Or Benny, really, for that matter. Like, like, like this is what I'm saying. Like, like if people in New York got to be careful with that, it's like, oh, no, no, no. Outside of New York, to a lot of people, they holding y'all up. So it's like, be careful about how you talk about people that's repping for y'all. Like, they repping for NYC. Not just New York State. Like, they rep for Buffalo first, but they rep New York. They rep this rap shit. And right now... They are your most notable MCs. I don't care what you say. Y'all well, I mean, have that, an MC. That East Coast. There's not an MC in New York City not named Nas that's better than Conway. You understand that? Well, not that hardcore East Coast sound that they represent, you would think that, you know, New York fans, New York City fans would embrace that just the same. But maybe, but you know, I don't know, man. Maybe we're different because I know when, um, when Phil Bob was representing um, Albany, Atlanta embraced them because they were dope. You know what I mean? Like they, it was a Georgia collective. Same thing. With, and, I, and I'm not and even a big Pastor Troy. To be on Cobb Parkway. I'm yeah. not a big Pastor Troy fan, but Atlanta embraced him because of the Georgia, you know, unity too. So it's like I don't know. I don't know why um, New York City won't embrace um, some of the Griselda yeah, cats. Stop doing that upstate own. shit. That, that's childish. Like they rep in New York for y'all. Yeah, and they're doing a great job at it too. Uh, Leroy They're doing Green, a wonderful job. Leroy Green with the super chat says, uh, "Puff remix sounds um, are sounds of our baby ears." Um, hey, nothing beats that is. Look, look, anybody from the five boroughs that got a problem with them upstate niggas, just show me the MC not named Nas that's better than Conway, and I won't say shit. Man, somebody said fucking, fabulous is you bad. don't fucking have that. Conway so, would destroy Fabulous right now, Mike. I'll put money on it. Oh, you got you got money on Conway over Fab. Hmm. Mike, and and twice on Sunday, if we need to double up, the fuck <laughs> we talking about? Niggas is wild. Conway, well, you know, Leroy Green brought up Jay-Z. I think he forgot Jay in this. When is the last time that, that Fab even did something as good as Chanel Pearls, song-wise? I'll wait. We got to respect the work. We can get to the songs with Conway. Like, Conway be making songs. I guess people don't feel like um, Conway's better than in Fab. Better than Fab. Huh. I, that's what I'm seeing in the chat. I mean, Crack took over New York in the 80s, Mike. Maybe it's back. I didn't see it when I was up there. I didn't see a lot of things. Maybe Crack is back, too. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, Since we bugged But it. you know what? It's funny you say that, though. Because we're having fat, we're having a, we're having a versatility conversation, and one could say, Fabulous over his career has shown much more versatility sonically than Conway has as an MC. Would that be fair to say? A lot of that is error in how he was pitched to Mike. But like, it's, even though he's been, this, this no, that's, that's still his catalog, like, though. That's still his no, catalog. No, no. Okay, so like, how about this? Is You Make Me Better with Neo a bigger record than Chanel Pearls? Well, yes. Do I think it's a better song? No, I don't. So. Does, right. Con does Conway have a breathe? Lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze. That's better than breathe to me? Yeah, lemon's better than breathe to me. Wow. Okay. Well. Have you heard lemon? Oh, I love lemon. But on that same album. You got a record with Mike Shorty, baby. You got Grown and Sexy with Pharrell. Like, as an overall MC now, has Conway proven that he could do those things too? I mean, I'm just playing double. I think advocate. he's been in the process of proving them over the last couple of albums. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's easy to pull up Fab's catalog right now while Conway is still transitioning into that full, like, encompassed song maker. Mike, as far as, like, bar for bar and on some street shit, Fab don't want that. Well, this I don't know what is. Talking about. I think this is where it brings our conversation full circle, right? I think when you bring up somebody like Fab and somebody could bring up versatility, that's where all of these beats sounding similar from this camp could hurt some of the individual artists. But Mike, when you in the they're grand talking about scheme this, of things, you know, what listen I mean? to what I'm saying. When they talking about that versatility, you know, New Yorkers never hurt. Uh, held that against Jada Kiss in the city. You see how they hold that against Benny and Conway, who from Buffalo. 
But when it comes to kisser styles, they don't do the same shit. What we're kisses kissing are the versus, usher out? No, we're kissing styles versatility at if you're going to say that. Let's well, be fair. Uh, 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 let's be fair. Kiss has why. He also is on Usher's album. He's also made records with Maya. I mean, Kiss has versatility. He's been on Lil John records. He's been and, all over. And that, came, and that came from what? Exposure and opportunity. So when these guys have gotten and grown in exposure and opportunity like Conway has, what has he done? He's expanded. I think we're all saying similar things. I think, like you said, they've done the work to get that fan base. Now it's time to fly. Now it's time to show people that you can do a lot of those things that people feel like they haven't seen you do. Yes, like how about this? If, well, we've seen those other artists do those things. We can't front them. Hold on. How about this? And I think this is very apropos. Oh, no. If you can take Conway and Benny and Wes and sub them out for the locks, they're going to do the same thing around the same time. Do I think any of them is better than Kiss? Personally, no. But comparable results. Like, Benny, Benny and Conway are a comp for Kiss and Styles. I don't know what niggas is hearing. Like, that's a comp. West Side's a comp for Chic. So when you're hearing the locks on a Honey remix with Mariah Carey, well, that's them and who they're tied to in playing the game. So the locks got a lot of versatility because they were rolling with Puff that these guys haven't gotten. These guys had to get their deals with Eminem and with J through Rock Nation mm. and do albums with Hit Boy to start getting that versatility. They weren't bought in the game on some versatility shit like some of these New York acts like Fabulous and the locks. That you Again, guys are claiming the versatility on. It's not a fair case to make. I understand what you're saying. And that's why I brought up the fact that um, the machine or the gatekeepers were forcing versatility on artists coming in the door. Now that that uh, that machine's not there and artists kind of have free reign and they're listening to their fans more. And there's nothing out there saying like, yo, you got to make this record for radio or and BET this is what or I'm whatever. Saying. So like, now they're going to have to be versatile on their own. You know what I mean? So Fab from Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Okay. First of all, Fab's claim to fame, and New Yorkers know this, is the freestyle that he did with Noriega. That was his first claim to fame. That was some street shit, okay? Didn't nobody complain when he did records with Neo or came down south and did records with Jeezy? Nobody gave him flack for that. But he's from Brooklyn. I guess these guys are supposed to catch flack for it because they're from Buffalo, though, right? You think that's what it is? I mean, he it's came from, out the based gate. On, based, on, based, on how, based on how people are talking, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, no, no, no. We get to bring Fab into the game on some street shit and let him transition, but these guys don't get the transition. Well, let me, let me frame With this. With the help of somebody like DJ Clue. You see how these guys who well, are doing the street stuff have help? They have a clue. They have a puff. Well, let's rewind this a little bit. I think for a lot of people, and I agree with that, and I remember hearing Fab on the mixtapes, but as far as the TV crowd and radio crowd, I think the first time they really heard Fab was on Lil Mo's remix. I mean, not remix. On Lil Mo's Superwoman, right? Superwoman? And I think da, that... Da, 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 yeah. Damn. And so when you have Lil, uh, Lil Mo's Superwoman, and what was his first single? I Can't Deny It with uh, Nate Dogg. That's Some the West Coast easy, shit? Yeah, with Rick Rock producing that's an easy transition, you know what I'm saying? And I think that was kind of a real balanced um, attack when it comes to first but single. Where's the you New got York Nate at Dog. in it that these people be claiming? Hey, that's a West Coast record. He came out is. on some West Coast shit. He did. He Superwoman, did. them synthesizers, that's West Coast. He sound You're West right. Coast when he coming out. You so right. When people, so like when people are like holding up this flag for him from New York, it's like he never held up no flag for y'all the way Conway and Benny and, and West have. And he's from Brooklyn. What is y'all doing? So what was his first East Coast record? You would say he been well, a gangster. That wasn't even a single, but yeah, that was yeah, that was necessary. He needed that. That was the first time I heard him on some East Coast rap shit outside of that freestyle with Noriega. And because Youngin was his second single, right? Holla back, yo, you woo woo. That's some East Coast shit, Mike. That's some hardcore rap shit. That's some who shot you type shit. No, stop that. Well, you heard what Wait, Pharrell me. said, or I think it was either Pharrell or Nori. It was in the uh, Drink Champs when Pharrell was talking to Nori. But I think Nori said that the whole holla back, uh, I guess the way he was rhyming, Pharrell basically told him to go listen to Vanilla Ice. Like, uh, Ice, Ice Baby. Yeah, rolling. John to see the stash in the dash hold through. He, yeah, that's that's a ice ice baby. 
So I don't know if Ice Ice Baby is East Coast, but maybe Breathe is probably the. No, Breathe is that shit. Yeah, yeah. Now Breathe. How about this? I don't know if any of them have a rap single that's on some rap shit like Breathe that plays the way Breathe does. Now I'll give Fab that. No, Conway and Benny don't have no Breathe. What's it gonna take? I, I want to ask. I mean, we want to ask solutions here. What's I don't know. I'm surprised. Take? I mean, apparently he needs to do. What, apparently they need to do what Fabulous is doing. So that's what. And what's that like? I don't, I don't know because I never like. I, how do you look at Fab? Like, where do you? Well, like, where's Fab all time? This you? is what I'm gonna say. I just think Conway and Benny are better than Fab. I it's think so a cool, lot of like the I adulation see. that Fab is getting, like the more recent era comes from the soul tape series so what he did he did that mixtape stuff first and then he did super mainstream stuff and then went back to the underground you know what i mean uh loso's way was dope too can i ask you something mike mm -hmm. does he have one verse fucking with the cow not that i know of no what about lemon what street record he what got is fab's best lemon? verse what is Fab's best verse? That's what I'm saying. I want to ask doing the people this Fab the talk. It's like, did you see the Jada Kiss Fabulous verses? <laughs> did you see that? I saw it. Woo, you want to talk about... People talk about Dipset took an L, not like Fab did. Dipset didn't take the L that Fab took. Like, what's with the Fab talk? And this is nothing personal or anything like that. It's just like, I didn't know it was like that. This You're talking about that soul tape stuff. It's like, no, no, no. When, see, this is how I know... The people really ain't listen to these Hitler wears Hermes tapes like they be saying, Mike. So where do people have... I want to ask the people in the chat, and y'all could just put numbers in the chat. Where do y'all have Fab all time, and where do y'all have Conway all time? Like, I want to know. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't really totally know. I think that... I think I would personally say my What's ear Fab test says I have Conway higher, but... I could see the argument being made for the versatility and, you know, and those things and just notable Versatility songs. would just be one check. How about this, Mike? <clears throat> real quick. Just Fab real quick, got just bars, quick. though. Fab got bars. He's not better than Conway bar-wise. You're not about to get me to believe that he is. You don't I'm think sorry. he could out-freestyle uh, Conway? Like, if they was just getting the, um, on Flex's show... One person spit one verse and the other one spit another verse. You don't think he could get him? No. Okay. I don't. I don't. People say uh, Fab is top 40. Uh, maybe number 39. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, Mike. So, and I like Fab, and I think Fab is dope. What does Fab bring to the mic or bring to the game? Like, Griselda started a whole movement. What movement is Fab a part of? Like, Fab came along and... You get what I'm saying? It's like, if he's like that, why wasn't the movement like that? These guys have had a whole movement. Conway's been the MC at the forefront of it from the jump. Like, before Benny popped out. Well, like Fab has had a very long career, though. We, You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's impressive. Mike, when's Fab's last album? <laughs> when is Fab... What was Fab's last album? And when's the last Fab album that was dope? The first one going, that comes I'm to going mind Freddy is Loso. Jason, right. the Jada Kiss compilation collaboration album. Is that the last dope thing? Well, that's the first thing that I was thinking. Was what was Summertime Shootouts three? It's that was amazing. like 2019, I think. How dope was that, Mike? How about this, Mike? This is what I'm saying. Is that better than Plugs I Met? Because no, it's not. What do you think that? The Griselda no. camp needs to do to make that next step. Because I think we're all on the same page that there is another step, right? I think the producers are going to have to change some, Mike. That's why I was like, you want to know what that whole asking um, Benny and Conway to work with Alchemist and Derringer and Beat Butcher and Conduct? No, I'm off that. Because it's like I'm realizing that in order for them to get notarized the way that they deserve to be, they might have to adopt some things. And Who so do you that's think where they need to work that's where you, well let me finish this thought right mm -hmm. quick and then you can jump in. That's where I think you have to be a real, real artist yeah. and start experimenting and trying new things. 
Well, you get I, what I'm saying? I love the fact that Conway worked with Murder Beats, man, and I thought that turned Me out too. great. You know, and like I, how about this? There could be more. Them, of like, them niggas got Atlanta ties, Mike. So it's like, no, I'm not opposed to hearing them work with a Wheezy, working with a, um, working with Metro. No, I'd like to hear it, Conway specifically, because I know he has the chops to do it. He's been the doing same- it though. Like you remember, he was on that Juicy J album. Like I like when I hear Conway over different. That's stuff. what I'm saying. So like, no, no, no. This is what I've been saying. Like Conway been sitting up there flexing his versatility for about two and a half. He really three is. years now, and people are acting like it's not going on because they want to box him in as this certain type of MC. I'm like, no, nah, like I'm listening to that record with Armani on his album. I'm just yeah, like, uh, what, yeah. what's the shit uh, on um, Ludacris? No, La Makina, Mike, where he's like uh, the KD track, the Killer KD. I do yep. the scoring. Yep. The shit with JID, Scatterbrain. Yep. The shit with Jill Scott. The shit with Armani on the right. murder beat, Aranzia. Like, it's like, no, he's been flexing. Why is anybody not talking about it? But it's like, it'd be like, man, he just do that East Coast hardcore rap shit. It's like, if you've been listening to his projects, that's why I'd be like saying to myself, it's like, do y'all actually listen to Griselda's projects when they drop? Or do you just hear the couple songs that they may spin on the mix at night? Because it's like, if you're listening to Conway's material, do not kick this fabulous versatility to me. He just did a record with Busta Rhymes and uh, Big Daddy Kane. He just did a record with Busta Rhymes and Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Uh, Mad Max of the Super Chat says, Coop, uh, Fab for my generation is Hove in New York. For everyone who lived here, you got to chill with the Conway is great. So is Benny, but over Fab, no. First of all, and I say this respectfully, if Fab is y'all Jay-Z for this era, that's why y'all ain't been running shit. And I mean it just like that. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. You want to keep it real with me? I'm going to keep it real with you. Is Fab, if Fab is y'all version of Jay, that's why y'all not running shit. Next topic. Mike. 36 Chambers with a super chat says, Mad Max and I, I are... here with that. 36 Chambers said, Mad Max and I are three years apart. Fab ain't no hoe. I don't hear, uh, I don't hear him mentioned... Too much. He might work his way into a top 50 for me at best. You know, I think with all of the people... I thought that Kiss was in, that dude up there. I, I don't know. If he, if he's not in the top 50 now, I don't. it's not going to get any easier to get in the top 50. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mad if, Max of the Super Chat says... If Fab is y'all hoe, we have... A, Houston, Conductor, we have another problem. Conductor... Mad Max of the Super Chat says, um, like Fab has people as young as 23 and as old as 40. If you're talking just people um, in NY, some of us, myself included, will argue Fab over Wayne. He's beloved. With what songs and what music is he over Wayne? Are you, uh, Mad Max, are you just talking about just straight bar work? Because I, I just feel like Fab's most impressive um, display is when he goes out there doing his punchlines and wordplay on like freestyles and stuff like that. Because again, I would ask the crowd, just like I ask about Fat Joe, what is Fabulous best verse? What would you say is Fabulous's top I'm three about the best. verses? No, no, no. I'm about, to, I'm about to fuck everybody's day up that's been saying this. Let's have, you want to have this Fab talk? Let's have real talk. No, no, no. Let's have a real talk. This Rome Streets album just came out, Mike. Right? Is Method Man on this Rome Streets album? Yep. Was Method Man on Conway's album? Yeah. Now, I want you all to explain to me how the fuck y'all got somebody like Fab up this high. Y'all want to talk about a star? You want to talk about holding New York now? No. Meth got the hit records. Meth got the crew. Meth is getting down with the crew that's most active right now. How dare y'all bring up Fab like he belongs in this conversation? That's why I was like, oh, you want to talk about Meth? You want to talk about Kiss? Oh, no, we can have that conversation. We're not having no Fab conversation. You understand? Method Man just showed his ass on this Rome Streets the way he showed his ass on Lemon, Mike. This is the author of Bring the Pain. What the fuck Fab got for I'll Be There for You or How High or Bring the Pain? You feel what I'm saying? If you when ask you're talking me about what... him like this, When you're talking about him like this, when a guy like Method Man... 
has literally made the records that he's made. That man did the hook, the ice cream, and cream. He is still out here out rapping niggas. And y'all talking about Fab better than Conway? Like, if you want to say Method Man's better than Conway and more versatile, you have some evidence. Not Fab. Meth is a com. Oh, you want to say Method Man's more versatile than Conway? Well, fuck yeah. But do not feed me Fab as a New York rapper that's more more bad, uh, versatile than Conway. No. In the, where the record's at, Mike? You make me better, I'll be there for you. How high? Holla back. <laughs> Lemon? What the fuck the last shit that he... What's the last shit that, that Fab even blazed in the streets like Lemon? When the last time he jumped on a track like Lemon and blazed? Has he worked with Griselda yet? Mike, you want to know why he has it? It's going to be very problematic when you're stepping in there with Benny and Conway. Them niggas know how to spit. Be very problematic for your legacy if you're not rapping. Like, Conway destroyed Lemon.